Hello everybody, Baggy here. In this video, not one, but two seagull mods I have made a while ago, but for which I haven't made a video yet. I will be showing you a mod that spawns the more common sims for seagulls, but also one which actually contains two objects spawning swallow-tailed gulls, better known as the Sulani seagulls. You can find all of these objects in game by going to the Pons VFX section. If you have other seagull mods or beach mods in general made by me, you can find them in between them. The object spawning the common Sims 4 seagulls is a 1x4 tiles invisible object. After placement, a maximum of 3 seagulls will fly in either from the front or the backside to land somewhere on this object. Then after standing there for some in-game minutes they fly away. This entire animation of birds flying in and out will be repeated for an infinite time. Besides placing this object on terrain, it can also be placed onto deco slots, short walls or directly onto the water surface. The latter can be useful if you want them to land on an object floating on or sticking out of the water. You do need to use the move object on sheet or twisted maxis tool mod to move the object to the desired height. Now let's take a look at the swallow tailed gulls. The first object is a 2x2 tiles invisible object which is only placeable on water surfaces. It's quite easy to see why, as a part of the animation shows gulls floating on the water. You will also see some gulls faking their landing on the water and flying away before even touching it. The floating ones will fly away eventually too. This all will be repeated for an infinite time as well. The second swallow tailed gulls object also has a 2x2 two two tiles footprint but can be placed both on terrain as well as on water surfaces. After placement it will spawn two gulls flying around a few meters above the object. These gulls will disappear after some time but also reappear. To download all seagull mods shown in this video I have added two links in the video description that will lead to my public patreon posts which contain the download links. This is also the place where you can support my work if you want to and by doing so getting to know what I'm working on next. Of course if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming mods be sure to subscribe. For now enjoy your day and hopefully see you back at my next video.